All right, so we're going squidding tonight and I'm gonna show you what we're using. It's real simple. We have just a standard fishing rod and a squid jig, a bucket that pops up and a spare squid jig in case we get snagged. And that's all we're using to go squidding tonight. So we're gonna wait for the sun to go down and then we're going over that direction. It's almost time. Hopefully we get a squid. So basically I just have to put salt water in this bucket for when we get a big squid. That one was a bit small so we chucked it back. I don't like taking small squid just because I feel like they um, they haven't had a chance to to like live yet. So I'd rather get just a big one. So it's the next morning and I'm going to cook up some squid. So let's do it. So I've got salt, pepper, oil, lemon, the squid tubes from last night, a gas cooker, some tongs and a fry pan. This big boy that we got last night, I just cut off the end bit. Don't need that. And depending on how you want to cook it, I'm going to cut through the middle and I'm going to, I'm going to cut it lengthways and fry it like that. I'm not actually going to have calamari rings. Like that. Open it up. I'm just going to cut it into bite-sized chunks. Alrighty, so we've got it ready to be fried. So let's go to the fry pan. Bit of oil in the pan. Really simple. Lay them down on the crosses that I did earlier. The gray color's raw and then the wider it gets, the more cooked it is. Okay, so these should be good now. They're all fried and ready to go. So we're gonna put some salt, some pepper, and some lemon. Mmm. Really good. So tender and juicy. That's all we need. 
How is it? So good. So tender. Mm. Cooked perfectly. So that's all there is to it. We caught the squid, we ate the squid, tasted amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video of catching squid and cooking it and eating it and I'll see you on the next video.